Let's see. Actor who went broke. In the stupidest way that's Johnny Depp was spending 360 grand a year on wine bottles, while Nicolas Cage's and bankruptcy included nine Rolls Royces and his in his own private island. However, there are a few actor bankruptcies stranger than Kim Bassinger's, who thought it was smart to pay $20 million for an entire country town. Brusselton, Georgia had only two bad. shops and 500 local residents, one of which describing the town by stating, breading chicken is about the most exciting thing we do around here, which made the reason for Kim's purchase hey. even more stupid. She planned on- Chicken farm ain't too bad, but 20 mil for a chicken farm? God damn, girl turning the town into a Hollywood tourist attraction by building a major film and recording studio with the added bonus of a theme park, homes and shopping centers. At a time when Brasselton's economic conditions were so atrocious, another local resident stated, if we talk about the economy, everybody gets depressed. Given the real Hollywood was on the other side of the country, it's no uh, surprise that the project failed, forcing Kim to resell the town for 4.3 million, ow. locking in a $15.7 million loss, and the alienation of her entire family who'd also bought into the project. The stress from the town's failure then caused Kim to pull out of a movie she was starring in, prompting the producers to successfully sue her for $8.9 which Kim couldn't pay. You had to declare Ow. bankruptcy. You made everything and then lost everything. Lost everything. Every but at least Kim Bassinger still had her freedom, as Wesley Snipes' bankruptcy was so brutal, it also put him in prison. He'd earned over $50 million from a range of different roles, although despite purchasing an Aston Martin Vanquish, as well as mansions in both Florida... I mean, purchasing a car and a house seems like a reasonable for rich people, in my opinion. That is not stupid. Right? ...and New Jersey. Wesley refused to lodge a single tax return over a seven-year period, and was therefore oh. ordered to pay... Wait, this motherfucker owed 23.5 million in tax? God damn! Pay the IRS 23.5 million. Wesley tried to wiggle his way out of paying by making the strange claim that he was a non-resident alien of the United States despite- You gotta pay tax, buddy. If you're a nun, I think. Cause I used to be like an alien green card. I pay my fucking taxes, boy. Being born there. He knew he had to pay the taxes. Uh -huh. He was just trying to find ways to avoid them. Although things got a whole lot weirder when Snipes declared he had no taxable US income, making what? the IRS Form 1040 <laughs> absolutely the wrong form for me to file. He also claimed taxes withheld were stolen funds, whilst adding the IRS deceives people to terrorize, enslave, rape, or- Hey, everybody act rich until they stop paying tax, baby. That's what all I have to say. Everybody act rich until they start paying tax to the government. Village taxpayers. Uncle Sam Although confronting some money. the IRS was a very stupid strategy, as Wesley was immediately charged with six counts of willfully failing to file federal income tax returns, for yeah. which he was given a federal prison sentence. Wesley Snipes gets three for, years like, behind tax. bars. In 2018, five years after being released from prison, Wesley five Snipes years? still hadn't paid a dollar toward his tax bill and would try to settle the $23.5 million debt by instead offering the IRS 800,000, <laughs> which they understandably rejected. Wesley oh. then tried arguing economic hardship, but the court said no to that too, instead dropping his tax- Hey, do not mess with Uncle Sam, baby. They just want the cash, buddy. It's free. Omega is free. Unless you pay Uncle Sam. Tax bill to 9.5 million, which it seems he hasn't paid either. Avoiding a tax bill for 15 years might almost make him a genius. However, when Heidi Montag blew through $10 million, there was zero intelligence anywhere. Reality television yeah. was the source of her wealth, appearing in The Hills, Big Brother, and I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Although when these types of shows completely disappeared, Heidi instead began recording music, spending $2 million on her very first album. Uh, She'd stay yeah, I put I every dollar is. I have into this. I've spent over 1 million, almost 2 million on this album. It's cost as much or more than a Britney Spears album because I wanted it to be that quality. The songs will make an yeah, impact an in pop history. It sold only a thousand <laughs> copies. In case losing 2 million dollars on a worthless album wasn't bad enough, she'd talk about her daily life by stating, every time we'd go out to eat, we'd order 4,000 dollar bottles of wine. Ow. Heidi was going to the mall and dropping 20 to 30,000 dollars a day. I think my top is spending a mall was like what? 250 bucks?
I got a shoe and a jacket, baby. We thought we were Jay-Z and Beyonce. Heidi's outrageous spending was justified because we heard that the planet was going to end in 2012. No. <laughs> we thought we have to spend this money before the asteroid hits, although the peak of her stupidity was still yet to come. How is she making so this much money? What the fuck? No, why she make this much of money with that knowledge? With the money running low, Heidi faked a divorce with her husband, who explained the split was designed to create fresh interest in his wife for a potential British TV project. Divorcing was the only way to keep Heidi's career going, although this failed to do anything. Heidi Montag had to lose every penny before finally learning her lesson. We live too in the moment. People say live in the moment. <laughs> well, we did. You know, we didn't really think about our futures. All of which could have easily been learned by researching Nicholas Cage. National Why Treasure had brought his net worth to 150 what? million, what? prompting him to spend 25 million on a what waterfront primary residence, although Nick also felt the need to buy a holiday home. He'd therefore spend a further $15 million on a Rhode Island countryside mansion, also Sounds picking up an $8.5 million apartment for his weekends away in Las Vegas. Right. But what about it's his like weekends what? in the Bahamas? Be, well, for that, he dropped $3 million on his own private island, but this didn't do anything for his trips to Europe, for which he'd spend a further 12.3 million on two medieval castles where he'd spend huge sums on enormous Gatsby style parties. By 2007, Nicolas Cage had bought 15 different houses where he'd Real estate ain't too bad, right? For rich people, I feel like on that what they've been doing, not just buy real estate. Keep his 26 different houses, different vehicles, way? including four yachts, nine Rolls Royces, oh, and a nearly three million dollar vintage Bugatti. Although this wasn't as old as his 276 thousand dollar dinosaur skull kept next to a bookshelf. I mean, dinosaur store. I mean, it's kind of holding a hundred and fifty thousand dollar Superman. But I would not spend like fucking. Almost 300k on it though. I could just go fucking to a museum. Why why the hell would I have that in my house? Go to a museum, bro. Comic. Throughout the houses lived a hundred and fifty thousand dollar pet octopus. Huh. What? Superman comic. Throughout the houses lived This shit cost 150 octopus? The fuck? Fuck like what? We in Korean barbecue, baby, and the hundred and fifty thousand dollar pet octopus, an eighty thousand dollar two headed snake, and a pair of albino king cobras. Yeah, I cannot deal with snake boys. Snake is like my worst nightmare. I cannot deal with that. Set him back. I, don't know why. I think it's the grand. way they move. To add a cherry on top of the I cake, Nick them. purchased his own extravagant gravesite for a price of forty thousand. Finally, concluding his crazy spending spree just months before the global financial crisis. The real estate market crashed and I couldn't get out in time. At around the same time, he began receiving fewer high paying roles. And with oh, so he bought it. With six the, different with loans on his crash. Bel Air mansion, plus mortgages on every other property, Nicolas Cage was headed toward bankruptcy. By 2009, he owed a further 6.2 million in unpaid taxes, forcing him to sell almost everything, most of which at a loss. His $15 million Rhode Island mansion resold for 9.5 million, while his $276,000 dollar dinosaur skull was taken by the government after they discovered it was originally stolen no way when the Mongolian government said that they needed it back, I gave it to him, but I never got my money back. Nick launched a $20 million lawsuit against his former manager, stating, Cage discovered that he is now forced to sell major assets and investments at a significant loss and is faced with huge tax liabilities, although his manager clapped back by claiming he advised Cage against buying a Gulfstream jet, against buying and owning a flotilla of yachts, against buying and owning a squadron of Rolls Royces, and against buying millions of dollars in jewelry and art. The loss. Here's the thing on get rich people. Do they need like a fucking agent to control what they buy? If I'm fucking rich, I'm buying whatever the fuck I want, bro. What the fuck? So it was eventually dismissed as ridiculous, forcing Nick to take on low quality acting roles purely to avoid bankruptcy. It may not have been blue chip but it would still work. When asked how much has money driven your work choices, Nick stated there are times when it's more of a factor than not, before adding, I had this pride thing where I wanted to work my way through anything, which Nicolas Cage has since done quite successfully, uh, unlike Randy Quaid, who gave up Hollywood to chase conspiracy, bankruptcy, and all-round insanity. I'm back!
I don't know who this guy is, but... By appearing in Independence Day, Brokeback Mountain, and every National Lampoon movie, Randy Quaid became a multi-millionaire. I have earned approximately $40 million throughout my career. However, despite winning a Golden Globe and being nominated for an Oscar, Randy's career came to a screeching halt halfway through 2009. Why? Well, it began after he and his wife were arrested for trying to use a fake car to pay a $10,000 hotel bill, after which both refused to appear in court. After the case eventually settled, Randy and his wife were once again arrested, this time for squatting inside a vacant house they'd previously owned. Huh? However, things only got weirder from here. Randy and his wife began to claim they were being chased by a group called Star Whackers who were trying to kill Hollywood celebrities. How many people do you know personally who have died suddenly and mysteriously in the past five years? While also claiming the group was somehow controlling their finances. If things keep going the way they are yeah. and we don't do something about it to expose these people, yeah. my wife and I will be out on the street. And we will, okay. we will be, we'll have nothing to eat. Okay, okay. that's how okay. bad it is. As a solution, Randy fled to Canada, where he'd begin to upload his conspiracies to YouTube. A day of reckoning is nigh. Wake up! After which he was arrested for a third time whilst trying to sneak back into America. The Oscar-nominated actor and his wife in jail this morning after being arrested at the Canadian border in Vermont. Exactly where Randy's 40 million went isn't entirely clear. However, Kelly Rutherford has been extremely open about how she spent her fortune. That dude doesn't seem like he's spending all his money. What the fuck? Fortune on lawyers. After gaining international stardom for is. appearing in Gossip Girl, Kelly had two kids with a German man who wasn't a US citizen. The couple divorced in 2009 and began to argue. Wait, does that mean. I mean, here's how. Wait. She's an American citizen, and a German rap citizen. That means that. Husband has to be a citizen. About custody, with a judge ruling the kid should live with their father in Europe as he wasn't permitted to return to America. Because he can't come into the US, the children have to be in now France. Yes. The situation was so strange and unique. Wait, why though? The husband married her. Have your citizenship, right? Hey, Kelly spent every penny she had trying to regain custody. It's cost you what, about two and a half million dollars? It's cost me everything way? I've ever made, my everything. And as a result, she filed for Chapter Seven bankruptcy midway through the court case, having assets worth only twenty-four thousand, compared to liabilities totaling two million. On top of this, Damn. Kelly owed more than three hundred and fifty thousand in back taxes, twenty-five thousand in Amex charges, and had a monthly income of just under thirteen hundred dollars. Although despite it's my monthly income now, I mean it's not even that. I think my monthly income is the pen. It's still in school though, that's why. I'm a broke boy, man. Spending everything she'd ever earned, her efforts failed to impact the court's final choice. Gossip Girl star Kelly Rutherford stunned and fighting back tears after losing a bitter custody battle today in New York Supreme Court. Kelly's spending was out of complete necessity, whereas Johnny Depp's spending. How is that stupid way she tries spend? $650 million was nothing but complete stupidity. Wait, Depp what? spending $650 million was nothing but complete stupidity. In 2012, he was listed as the world's highest paid actor by the Guinness Book of Records, although despite earning $900 million over a 13-year period, he spent the money so poorly, Conan O'Brien joked, that he must have gotten financial advice from Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Cage, Depp purchased 14 different properties, including his own Bahamian private island, multiple countryside mansions, and a $60 million village in France, although it was Johnny Depp's day-to-day -day expenses that might have been even crazier. A 2017 lawsuit revealed he was burning $2 million a month on $200,000 for a private jet, $150,000 on security for himself and his family, $300,000 on staff. Wait, $150,000 a month for security? Fuck. Including 40 full time employees oh. and 30,000 on wine, which was confirmed during his trial with Amber Heard. <laughs> However, Johnny Depp's craziest purchase was when he spent $3 million on his friend Hunter S. Thompson's funeral by firing his ashes out of a rocket like cannon. Just like Nicolas Cage, Johnny Depp tried to sue his management company TMG, although they'd respond with their own lawsuit stating Depp chose time and again to ignore TMG and all of his other advisors. Depp truly has no one but himself to blame for his current financial and personal circumstances. Damn. But I feel like Johnny Depp should be like a... 
he should have like his money back now, right? After Amber Heard lawsuit. <laughs> Mama should be straight. Mama should be straight. I feel like he's gonna shoot another pirate or, or Caribbean soon, so he should be alright. <laughs>